we've just had Oban Seafood Shack starter and now we're going on to the next course of our progressive dinner at the Oban Fish and Chip Shop. Ordered the local hake, freshly caught, with chips and scallops from the Isle of Mull. Hey scallops, they're deep fried with salt and vinegar. Oh my I've lord. never had a scallop like that. Our last bottle of wedding champagne, so we thought we'd pop it here with our chippy and our wee dug. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's salt and vinegar on them. Never tried anything like that. Good morning. So we're up and we are just about to leave the campsite that we stayed in last night. This is the view where we had the sunset spot. Really enjoyed this area. This campsite is like 15 minutes from Oban. No facilities at the moment are open because of COVID. So if you are coming to any campsites at the moment, you have to be like fully self-sufficient for like toilets and showers and stuff. Anyway, we're about to hit the road now and get the ferry over to the Isle of Mull. Check in close to 30 minutes before departure. We're gonna get to Mull and then we're gonna park up and have breakfast once we're on the island and then I'm gonna do a van tour. So we've just arrived at the ferry terminal and it definitely does shut 30 minutes before departure. We were the last ones in at 7.29. Just queuing up now and we're about to drive onto the ferry. We got off the ferry at Craignure and we stopped doing that. Yeah, <laughs> and we were driving north to Tobermory. Tobermory! <laughs> Driving north to Tobermory, don't say it, and Freddie just saw a parking sign with a forestry commission sign pulled in and pretty remote. So we're gonna gonna go have breakfast on that little bench over there, unload the van, get the Winnie Pops out. Hi. Hi, welcome to my galley. We are having bacon and fried eggs on toast with coffee that is roasting. Right, so I thought it would be a good time as any to give you a little tour of Roxy. So this is the camper van from Staycation Scotland. The van was actually loaned to us for this trip, however, everything else we are covering ourselves. They're brand new vans, so shiny, so luxe, like Jules who kitted these out has thought of everything. When we're driving, all our stuff goes in here. This is our bed and in the daytime it's a sofa and then you just pull this um, here and it slides all the way out. Probably leaves about that much space so Winnie's bed goes here in the evening. This is our kitchen. We have a fridge fully stocked. We did a nice food shop before we came here. So this is our cutlery drawer here. This is a sink. I've actually closed it because we need to do our washing up but I need to go and buy some washing up liquid. That's our cooker under here and we just had a coffee on top. This is an oven and a grill so I did our toast in the grill this morning. Um, in here is all our crockery. So we've got these awesome cups that are just perfect for camping. Champagne glasses. There is our pots, pans and our kettle, chopping boards, food, bread and eggs and stuff and our cool bags. This is all the like checking stuff. So we've got the plugs, we've got the charging point. You can check how full your water is, power on. We're keeping it on obviously. And then we've got the leisure battery here. So we're keeping that on so that our fridge and all that is working. Also Jules is literally the sweetest. She left us this goodie bag. We've been drinking this coffee, which is incredible and i think i'm gonna have that rosé with the barbecue tonight she's also given us this glaswegian gin tonics caramel wafers of course when you're in scotland also when you're in scotland smidge spray so for the midges they're really bad this year so she's also put in here um the midgey proof head nets here black isle candle co she's given us some beautiful candles so we're gonna get a lighter today in town and we're gonna burn this one tonight in the oh freddie's got matches so we're gonna burn this one tonight smells incredible beautiful packaging as well like rustic but still chic you just pull these up there's the cooker we had our bacon and eggs on here this morning and the gas is at the back there so freddie turned it on and then um you just do these switches and the cooker comes on. So really easy to use. It's a fully functioning kitchen, which is just awesome. Show you around the 
back now. So obviously our bike rack on the back, open the boot and in here, this is obviously just the back of the bed. Then we've got our torch, dustpan and brush and water pipe. And then this is our shower. So fill this with soapy suds and a sponge that we've brought with us and a flannel. And that's how we're gonna wash this week. This is the pipe to charge up the electricity point at the stations. This is the gas. So in here is a not gonna open it you have to turn that on to then obviously get the cooker working and then under here is our table and chairs and a little mini hoover I just wow she has literally got everything in here there's a fire extinguisher in the front as well hopefully we will not have to use that this is the roof so we've actually pitched it just so we can have head height whilst we're here cooking and this is a bed so if I pull this down this van actually sleeps four people. We probably aren't gonna sleep up here. We said if Winnie's naughty, we might put her up here. But she is the goodest girl in the world, so she is sleeping downstairs with us. You wanna come as a group of four? You can. Um, I'm just gonna put that back up there. It just goes up there, and then to collapse the roof, it's really easy. You just pull these, and the roof collapses. Amazing. Literally, it's a house for four people on wheels. That would be my hiking boots. Excuse me, whose is that? Where are you going? Where are you going with that? So we've just left Roxy here and we're walking up this little path here. We're just going to go on a little wander before heading up to Tobermory. So, Freddie wanted to pull in to let people pass because he wanted to drive slowly so he could take in the view and we just pulled into the most epic place, these woodlands and this incredible waterfall. You just keep walking down the trail, it takes you right out to the ocean. We're probably not gonna head the whole way out though because we are almost at Tobermory and we are hungry, so we're gonna go to the Tobermory Fish Co and get some lunch. This is just south of Tobermory and it's just off the main road, so well worth a visit and really easy to get to. Just arrived. Tobermory Fish Co. Show us what's in the bag, Fred. He's unboxing. So we've got some local sausages. Got some scallops for the barbecue there for me. And got some minute steaks. That was like the cutest little shop. Um, didn't want to spend too much time in there because there was people waiting outside to get in. But we got all that lovely seafood and steaks and sausages. And the good thing about the meat on Mull is it's so fresh because Mull is the only Scottish Isle that has an abattoir on it. <laughs> Left at the chocolate shop and I got a wee selection here, handmade chocolates. So we originally intended to come to Cafe Fish for lunch, which is right on the harbour, but it's closed again through COVID. So we went to the bakery instead and got filled rolls, which were delicious. Um, not quite the same, but if you are coming here and Cafe Fish is open, you should definitely go because it was like the most recommended thing when I was um, researching mole. These ice creams are some of the best ice creams we have ever tried. This coconut peach and salted caramel cheesecake is unbelievable. This is typical, we've just arrived at the Isle of Mull cheese farm and it's closed on Saturdays, but it's open, but no one's here. So we're gonna have a little nosy around. I hope that's not trespassing. Absolutely beautiful inside look at this i was really hoping we could have a coffee the cafe's closed. when it's closed they just leave it open and you just leave your money honesty style i'm going to cash you no what are we gonna do go get cash out oh my god i want some cheese so badly rhubarb and ginger jam so actually they just have a card machine set up there and you just type in your amount and then pay for it so we're gonna go pick some cheese so we've gone for a smoked cheese. Freddie's picked up this one because it's his dad's birthday next week. We're doing a wine and cheese tasting, so we're bringing Isle of Mole cheese. We had 
a lovely morning and afternoon on the east coast of Mar. We did Tobamore and I feel like we've really done it. Um, and we managed to get to the cheese farm. That was fab, got my cheese. And now we've just driven to the west coast. So we're now at Calgary Beach, right here. We're now camping on the west coast for tonight. Kind of a cloudy day. This is supposed to be like the Aqua Blue Beach in Mull. Although it's a bit grey at the moment. But um, hopefully the sun's going to come out soon. Anyway. Pretty beach though, it's very calm right now. There's kids out there swimming in swimming costumes and me and I are in ski jackets. <laughs> wanted to camp here and I'd read online that no motorhomes are allowed in Calgary Beach so we've booked a campsite just a bit more down the road. Well it is very obvious that everywhere that's not like a designated campsite it does say no overnight parking like in Leibis in the forest that we went on a walk earlier where we were allowed to pitch up in the day it did say no overnight parking so they are quite on it with no wild camping on this island but campsites are still beautiful. I mean, we had a sea view and a sunset last night, so can't complain. <laughs> driven down from Calgary. A 30 minute drive south of Calgary is the AS4 waterfall. I think I probably pronounced that incorrectly. It's been the most, oh, sunshine, the most beautiful drive. Coming along the coast, gonna pull up, have a little splash. And then our campsite is another 15 minutes down the road, so it's just worked out perfectly. There's where we parked, and then just back by this bridge here, the waterfall. That was one very, very cold waterfall. Freddie the lunatic got in fully three times, three dunks for a swim. I got up to my knees and that was enough for me. Although we've just changed and put on comfy clothes and we're back in the van and we're now driving to our campsite. We have just arrived at our new camping spot and it is glorious. We are literally parked here. That is the water. So beautiful. The sun is just about to set behind that mountain there. So hopefully that will give off a lovely light in a minute. Freddie's just set up the barbecue and I'm just about to go and prep all the sides for the barbecue. We're having the scallops that we got today at Tobermory Fish Co. Steaks as well, which we picked up there. Some pork sausages as well, which we picked up there. Some of these are for breakfast tomorrow as well. Barbecued asparagus and peppers and halloumi and avocado and some tzatziki dips. <laughs> So here it is, I'm just setting up the beds. Just thought I'd show you the space. So the sofa, like double seat at the back, folds out into this little kind of double-ish bed. We actually brought a flat sheet, our pillows and our duvet, and lots of people just bring sleeping bags, but having an actual sheet and your own pillow makes all the difference in a good night's sleep in a van, I think. <laughs> morning so we have just woken up and it is like 7 30 and i am making the coffee for us and we are gonna have it looking out here winnie's getting ready for her walk she's desperate to get out and explore we keep her on a lead because there's other campers over there and freddie's just gonna go take her for a quick walk whilst i make the coffee then after our coffee i'm gonna make some breakfast doing a full scottish today also, we have got with us a Moroccan blanket that I got in Marrakesh a few years ago. This is such a warm... Ooh, there's my kettle! Let's turn you off. Thank you. It's 
the warmest thing ever. You put it on top of your duvet and it's like a weighted blanket and it just keeps the heat in. So it was super, super cozy. And there's Freddy walking the dog. thing about that campsite is if you like bird watching then it's definitely a great spot we met quite a few bird watchers and um, we saw some sea eagles their wingspan was like seven foot long also if you're gonna hike Ben Moor which is behind me then that is a brilliant campsite to park at because it's literally a 15 minute drive so yeah fuel yourselves up and then go and do that big hike. I've read online that the hike is like two hours up, two hours down. We're not doing it because obviously we've got Winnie and she's not allowed to walk for that long. Just arrived at Finport, Fionport. We are having lunch in the van. So I made some ham and cheese sandwiches. I'm brewing up a coffee now and then we're gonna go out and take Winnie for a walk. So remote, only people here absolutely gorgeous just in the distance there that is Iona and if you can see that is the Abbey you can see it on a clear day from Mull and it's obviously gorgeous today <laughs> Winnie is not sure. She wants in, but she also doesn't want in. <laughs> Usually Winnie is absolutely fine in the water, but she is being so weird at the moment. So Freddie's having to carry her back while I'm carrying his clothes. we like wading, wading through the water. Oh, I just can stay here all afternoon now. It's such a shame we have to get the ferry back to Oban because we're now going on to Glencoe. <laughs> way back to Craig Newark to get the ferry back to open and there's no one here deserted but let's had a little look around this corner and there's a little honesty box to grab our muscles so we're getting two kilos of muscles for two pounds just put money in the jar and that's you good to go they come in straight off the boats into the freezers into our car Tonic's tea cake. Oh, it's soft. Mm. So we just got off the ferry back to Oban from Mull. Uh, 45 minutes. It goes really quickly because I sit on my phone the whole time editing my content whilst Freddie tries to keep Winnie under control, who is wild on ferries, we have discovered. We're now just on our drive up to Glencoe for our final night and oh my god, it's just so beautiful. It's really difficult to capture behind the trees, but look at our view as we drive along. So it's a 40 minute drive from Oban to Glencoe, camp on the loch, and then tomorrow morning we're going to go for a nice nature trail around Glencoe before driving the van back to Glasgow. So it's been totally fab and we've done a real whistle stop tour of Oban, Mull and Glencoe, but I feel like we've nailed it. Okay, so we've got the moon marinara in here. I've probably filled them a bit too full, but we're hungry people. We've done them with butter, shallots, garlic, cream, and white wine. Patiently watching Freddie scoop out each muscle, eat it, and then shut the shell. <laughs> Excuse me! You've had your dinner, Missy.
cleaning. Van life, cleaning your teeth. Just out on your bed in the kitchen sink. I wish we were spending a bit longer here, although I don't rate the midges. Um, just having our morning coffee, looking along the lock, which is like literally there's a campsite and there's hardly any camper vans here. And Freddie has just spotted a stag. Don't want to get too close. Oh my god. This is it, the last breakfast in the van. We've not done the roof because we've just parked up at the Glencoe Loch and Trail and um, trying to be as rapid as possible. I think I've made breakfast in like seven minutes, which is really good for this little kitchen. Just doing the coffee with scrambled eggs, potato scone, avocado, asparagus, halloumi, which was all left over from the barbecue, and then the smoked salmon we got at the Tobamori Fish Co. <music> Had our breakfast and we're just doing the Glencoe Loch and Trail. This is the loch. Oh my god, it's so beautiful and still. There's like three different routes you can do. So we're doing the red route and then there's a blue route and a yellow route and then we're just kind of different in and around this area. <laughs> nice little trails and we can see people walking on the hills so as you're driving through you can just pull over wherever you like obviously in a designated lay-by but there's plenty of them <laughs> This is us pulling back up into Glasgow now after an amazing three days in the Highlands exploring Oban, Mull and Glencoe. I feel like we've done a real like whirlwind trip of this and seen a lot, done a lot in such a short amount of time. I'd say that it's definitely doable and I've written out the full guide of everything we've done so you can check it out if you want to follow along and try it yourselves. But I would say that if you do want a bit more time in each area then it's probably best to do two nights in each campsite because even though the drive is absolutely stunning and it's really enjoyable it doesn't leave you a lot of time to like really relax into the campsite and if you're wanting to do long trails or hiking or anything like that then you want a place to rest and come back to and not have to kind of pack up and drive to your next destination immediately so i would say one night in oban is plenty two nights in mull for sure and for Glencoe, I would say the same. But you're looking at maybe like a five night trip if you really wanted to keep this quite relaxed, but also feel like you've done a lot of stuff still. We did the three night version. Once again, totally doable, but a bit more rushed. So that is it from us, our Scottish Highland road trip. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time with another vlog. Bye.